Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and today we will talk about Nano Dimensions NNDM stock. We will start by discussing Nano Dimension launching new products this year and throughout the next couple of years on top of more acquisition news. I will also break down Nano Dimensions plan to increase revenues dramatically before year's end. After that, we will talk about the potential growth rate of NNDM stock and the compounding annual growth rate of the whole 3D printing market as a whole. Then lastly, we will discuss if NNDM stock is a a good stock to buy right now and what you can do to lower your risk of a loss if you are not a long-term investor. Go and press the like button right now for more NNDM stock news and analysis. Comment your thoughts down below, turn on subscription notifications if you are new, and let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now, you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to 250 $50 for just creating an account, and you can get a second free stock which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever, and without further ado, let's get into today's stories. If you do not know, Nano Dimension is an Israeli 3D printing company that recently reported a 59% quarter over quarter decline in revenue, but year over year they still had a revenue increase. This was because NNDM was badly impacted by the lockdowns, so they are still currently recovering like many other companies. However, Nano Dimension has around $1.5 billion in cash or cash equivalents on their balance sheet, which will be used to acquire other companies for their technology and to bring three new machines to the market to boost their revenues. Lately, the NNDM stock price has been flat at around $6, which is actually good news because normally it is on a downtrend because the stock tends to be shorted. Nano Dimension's CEO told analysts and investors that he is disappointed in the revenues, but that he is also optimistic about their recent breakthroughs in research and development. The main problem here is that Nano Dimension needs to find a way to ramp up their revenues through better markets. Marketing. On top of that, Nano Dimension desperately needs to develop technology that will enable them to mass manufacture 3D printed electronics to compete with traditional manufacturing on even ground. The CEO understands these problems and thinks that NNDM needs to improve faster than it already is. Even now, the CEO has started to increase the marketing efforts to generate sales which should be reflected in the revenue of the next quarter. I hope that he is right and revenues do increase, but I am glad that the CEO understands what Nano Dimension needs to do to remain competitive, and he has already formulated a plan to achieve his goal of drastic revenue growth. Revenues should increase by NNDM releasing three new machines over the next 18 to 24 months. The CEO is already in negotiations with customers in three separate regions about buying these new machines because last time Nano Dimension came out with an improved product or a new machine, many of their current customers bought it because they loved the old product so much, which has built customer loyalty. As far as marketing is concerned, it clearly shows that Nano Dimension is increasing their marketing efforts because in quarter one of 2020, their marketing expense was $800,000, but in quarter one of 2021, that expense is now $2.7 million. We also see an increase in the research and development budget which jumped from $1.7 million to $3.7 million because they have quadrupled the research and development staff to develop new technologies that will be present in their upcoming machines. With increased advertising and R&D on top of the US, Europe, and Asia opening up once again, Nano Dimension should easily be able to increase the revenues. One of Nano Dimension's newest machines will be launched this summer and it will be called the Dragon Dragonfly 4 machine. The other two machines will be launched later because they will be focusing on next generation production of PCBs which are printed circuit boards and hybrids which will be released next year and the year after next year. We also have more acquisitions to look forward to which could give us a nice NNDM stock growth catalyst because right now NNDM is currently in negotiations with four companies across the United States and Europe. The CEO says this about the upcoming acquisitions and I quote, I am happier and 
more content than the other two because while the results of M&A are coming in a binary manner, which means it ain't happening overnight, we announced two acquisitions. It's difficult for you to follow how gradually quarter by quarter we see results from M&A, but it's coming. As of right now, Nano Dimension has not released any financial projections for quarter 2 of 2021, but regardless, Nano Dimension is a clear long-term play because of their iron grip on the printed circuit board market. The stock can be shorted all it wants, but NNDM stock and Nano Dimension as a company is very well positioned to solve issues like the global semiconductor shortage once their machines have fully evolved. With that being said, please keep in mind that I myself find NNDM stock to be too risky of an investment right now, so I only own it through ETFs. But if the price falls below a certain point, then my risk to reward ratio will encourage me to buy some shares. If you currently hold NNDM stock and you want to get out of your position, you can use these upcoming acquisitions and product launches to do so because these catalysts could cause some price spikes or short squeezes in the NNDM stock price, which which you could use to bail on your position. For those of you who are willing to hold NNDM stock, even if you are down, you can always use NNDM as a tax deduction through tax loss harvesting. And for those of you who are long-term holders, then remember to not overexpose yourself to too many risky stocks. I personally like to purchase the PRNT ETF by ARK Invest because Grandview Research says that the compounding annual growth rate for the whole 3D printing market is 21% until 2028, which would put the market at a worth of about 68 billion dollars. Nano Dimension can easily get a chunk of that market considering that Nano Dimension is rapidly innovating through their own research and development team plus their acquisitions of various companies that can help NNDM grow in both technology and in revenues. The current semiconductor shortage can be a great marketing opportunity for Nano Dimension because if companies did not rely on external manufacturers and instead had their own 3D printing machine themselves, it would have saved them loads of money. Nano Dimensions technology is also extremely advantageous for two other markets and that is electric vehicles and government defense contractors which can provide stable revenues for Nano Dimension in the future. Nano Dimensions 3D printing machines will allow military grade engineers to rapidly turn an idea on paper into a working prototype with a push of a button. The US along with other western countries rely more heavily on technology rather than manpower and Nano Dimension is all about technology so hopefully they can further infiltrate government contractors to achieve a reliable and stable revenue source through contracts but what do you all think comment your thoughts down below remember to hit the like button right now subscribe if you are new and i will see all of you in the next yt video